Right. Hello, my name is Peter. I'm with uh, In the Valley, and we have uh, Sam Feldman and, and Raccoons Anonymous. And oh. my name is Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna get their backstory and everything. So, how'd you guys start off uh, doing this doing this project? Yeah. So we started yes, as a so me and Sam started as a cover band called the Spread Eagles. We rehearsed in a church. It fizzled out uh, very quickly. And then we started writing songs together. We both went to school in Florida, so that's where we met. This guy uh, knew Sam from high school. Hmm? Hi. Yeah. Um, am I going to do What's all the talking? <laughs> What's your name? Alex. His name? Yeah. It's Andrew. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, we, we, we started a band in Florida, and then we had friends at school that we played with, and then we would just play, like, house shows and bars in Florida at school. And then kind of with the goal of, this guy's from L.A., I wasn't, so I was trying to move out here so we could play with this guy and, you know, do shit like this. What were you doing in Florida, if I may ask? Uh, being his classmate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we went to the same uh, university. Okay. And, uh, like, what made you guys want to just come out here? Was it because, like, you guys were chasing the music career or uh, what was it called? Uh, other career choices. Yeah, so it was, it was both because, so we both studied aerospace engineering, so like in LA, you know, there's a lot of companies for that, and in LA, there's a lot of music, so like, in my mind, I was like, man, if I can move to LA, I could pursue both, you know, and this guy was already from LA, so I was like, I'm the only one who really needs to make the make the move, so. How'd you guys all come to, you guys said you guys met in university, how did you come into the group? I knew Sam ever since high school, and we kind of messed around. I would always go to his house and annoy his uh, family. Playing so they were childhood friends. <laughs> yeah, it's confirmed. It's now confirmed childhood friends. <laughs> Not confirmed yet. Just a theory. <laughs> but yeah, then after that, he showed up randomly one day. No, I'm, no, no yeah, offense. Yeah, um, well, so while we were still in school, we, I would fly out and visit, and we'd record some songs. So we have songs on Spotify that were all... Or uh, some of them, some of them we recorded in his in his apartment. So we have an EP that we recorded in his apartment, and then we had an EP that we recorded out here when I came and visited with this guy. So with those good live drums, you know. Do you, uh, just you know, a couple of serious questions. You know, do you think that like what's it called? Your career choice and the, the music career choice, you know, interflict with one another? Um, I wouldn't say conflict, but it's like I guess the difficulty is like how much you're willing to put into both things, you know. Um, and it's like, you're almost splitting hairs, because like, you know, it, some people kind of go by the philosophy is you should fully commit to the one thing and put everything into it. And I'm kind of trying to do, <laughs> do both. Uh, so it can be difficult, but I think, you know, it's possible. Um, yeah, basically what he said, but I think, you know, um, it might be different for me at least, you know, I mean, I've always thought that at some point you have two things happening, like, you know, you have your normal everyday, you know, job, your nine to five, and then... You try to make time to make it work, and then somewhere in between, you know, when you see that, like, maybe the success from the project you really want to take, you know, take off in starts doing well, then you start saying, hey, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm going to go start doing this now. Yeah, for sure. Oh, same question? <laughs> uh, Follow your dreams. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I have to, I have to start grad school and I'm going to be doing this too so like I mean you can do both I suppose <laughs> so you can. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's just like the story of the struggling artist you know yeah. you you want to make your money off your, your music career but at the same time reality does hit you in the face a couple of people did say COVID did you know affect them and everything like that but coming up positive and this, this event really turned out great uh, last thing is, do you guys feel like, you know, coming together as this band, you know, you know, you guys coming from Florida to here and then you joining in through your childhood friend, uh, do you guys feel like you guys capture the kind of sound that you guys are looking for or look to progress? Yeah, I guess our sound thus far and the stuff we've recorded is very like indie rock, alternative rock. Like these guys are super into Arctic Monkeys. I like Arctic Monkeys too. Um, what are they? I don't know. There's <laughs> some, some, I think they make, uh, they, they make pastries, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we, our sound well, now is sweater weather, right? By yeah. the Arctic Monkeys. Yes, yes. Uh, sweater weather by the Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, okay. But, uh, I think we're all kind of interested in you know, you you don't want to always make the same sound, so like experiment. Cause we we all listen to different things as well. This guy's big classical music, like I like hip hop and R and B and shit. So like, there's always room to experiment. Yeah, like I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, fuse some uh, 
Bach into our uh, stuff. <laughs> Not really. That's pretty interesting. Um, well, in that case, guys, you know, thank you guys for, you know, giving us an introduction. Hopefully, you know, sometime we can have you guys on our show. This has been a uh, slight introduction of In the Valley. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. And oh, we... Can I, can I say one last thing? Oh, yeah, go for it. Oh, uh, we had a bassist with us, Quinn, oh, but yeah, he left early. <laughs> but he Quinn! 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 <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, we uh, met him recently. We recruited him because we had a bassist in Florida and we needed to find one here, so... Yeah. You want to give a small intro with him before... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, Quinn, we met through my neighbor, uh, and yeah, we kind of been playing with him for the past few months, and this was, like, one of his first shows or something, so yeah, he's, he's pretty good. All right. Well, thank you, guys, and we're closing it off with... What? <laughs> Raccoon's Anonymous? Yeah. Yeah. Or my name, or my no, name. Raccoon's Anonymous! <laughs> Raccoon's Anonymous, all right, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, thanks.